Hello everyone, welcome to Natus and Aptitude World. This is the 40th problem of Crypt Arithmetic Edition. 6 plus 7 plus 7 is equal to 20. Six plus seven plus seven is equal to twenty. Then find the value of twenty. Some of these values. That's what we require. If you observe six seven seven, that is equal to twenty. And this row useful for the carry over uh, from uh, first column to second column, second column, third column, etc. And remind here three digits, five digits. 5 digits and here 6 digits. Now come to the uh, fifth one. What happened? Some of these two values is represents to two digit number or not. Now what is the maximum sum of these two numbers? That is equal to 18 only. 9 plus 9 is equal to 18. That is the maximum. Right? Suppose whatever the values of S from 0 to 9 and suppose some of these two values is equal to two digit number the leftmost digit must be equal to 1. All of us know. Just write down 1 where our t exists. So this is equal to 1. Now come to the this column. And here, uh, what is the carry over here? Carry over is equal to, there is a 1, 1 carry over. So that is equal to 1. Now come to this column. What happened? What is the carry over from this place to this place? Here we sum of these two digits only. So what is the maximum carry if you will add two numbers that is equal to either 0 or 1 or not. Now what happened? Suppose if you take this column, here carry is equal to either 0 or 1. Right? Now S plus S is equal to W. Sum of these two values is equal to other value. And what happened, uh, suppose this is equal, if you take any number, this number must be equal to even number when if carry is not exist. Suppose this is an odd number if the carry is exist. Carry over from here, this column to this column, right? Now what happened, if suppose if you take 0, then what happened, S plus S is equal to W and what is the value of S, S must be equal to 5. Suppose if carry over from this column to this column, then what happened? Then this value, the sum of these two values is more than 10 or not. That is 1 plus S plus S is greater than or equal to 10. If carry is exist from this place to this place. Now, how will you find whether carry is exist carry over from this column to this column? Here, sum of these two values is equal to these represents the same value. We don't know whether carry over from this column to this column, right? And some of these two values, suppose if you take uh, 0, 2 plus 2, 4, and uh, 3 plus 3, uh, 1 plus 1, and 0 plus 0, then what happens? 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. If E is equal to 0, then carry is not exist. But what about whether uh, if any carry over from this place to this place, then what happened? E is not equal to 0. Right? Then what happened? Let us consider if carry over from this column to this column is equal to 1, then what happened? Here 1 plus S plus is greater than or equal to 10. That means S plus S is greater than or equal to 9. Right? What is the value? If S is equal to 5. If S equal to 5, then what happened? 5 plus 5, 10 plus 1, 11. So, W is equal to 1, which is contradiction. Why? Because already we know that the value of T is equal to 1. So, what happened here? S yes is not equal to 5. What is the next value? If S equal to 6, then uh, 6 plus 6, 6 plus 6, that is equal to 12 or not. Then what happened? If S yes is equal to 6, then 1 plus 6 plus 6, that is equal to 13. So the value of W is equal to 3. Now you will substitute the value of S wherever uh, S is exist. Right? So here we know the values of T, S and W. Now come to the part of E, this column. E plus E plus E. So how many possibilities are there? If you check 
zero plus zero equal to zero. That is the one way. And next, eight plus eight that equal to sixteen. If carry is exist from this column to this column, then eight plus eight plus two that is equal to eighteen. And one is carry over or not? Let us check. How will you get? That is equal to. We don't know whether carry or what is the uh, carry over from this place to this place. Let us take zero or one or two. Right now, if zero or one or two plus e plus e is equal to ten plus e, right? Why? Because one carry over from this column to this column. Now, what happened? E E gets cancelled, and next here zero or one or two plus E is equal to ten. If carry over from this column to this column is equal to zero, then what happened? Uh, zero plus E equal to ten, so E equal to ten, which is contradiction. So zero is not existed. Now what we required? Suppose carry over that is equal to one. Then what happened? One plus e is equal to ten. That implies what is the value of e? e is equal to nine. Suppose if you take e is equal to nine, then what happened? One plus nine plus nine, eighteen, nineteen. So this is is also equal to nine and one carry over from this place to this place. Now uh, this is also equal to nine, right? So Suppose if you take this one, i plus nine plus nine is equal to is must be equal to more than twenty or not. And suppose uh, this is equal to more than twenty, that is equal twenty one. Let us take and what is the carry over here? That carry over is equal to two. And suppose carry over is equal to two, two plus six that is equal to eight. And here suppose the carry over is equal to one, then only this value is equal to nine, right? And Two plus six plus v plus v that is equal to ten plus n only, right? Suppose two plus six plus v plus v is equal to ten plus n, right? So v plus v is equal to two plus n, and what is the value of v? If v is equal to one and this is satisfied, and suppose v equal to uh, v plus one that n is equal to zero, that is one case. And suppose v is equal to one is not valid. Why? Because already t is equal to one. V is equal to two. Suppose two plus two n equal to two. That is not valid, right? Suppose v is equal to three. It's not valid already. W is equal to three. And v is equal to four. The four plus four that is equal two plus n equal to six is not valid, right? So now you will skip this value. You will skip this value. And this is not valid. Now, what is the next case? The next case is equal to two plus e is equal to ten, right? Two plus e is equal to ten. Now you will remove the values of e here and carry over also. Now, if two plus e is equal to ten, then what is the value of e? e is is equal to eight or not? Suppose if you substitute the value of e, that is equal to eight. Two plus eight plus eight. Eight plus is sixteen. That is equal to eighteen. Eight and one carry over here. Yes. Now you substitute the value of e, wherever e exists. That is equal to eight. Now two plus eight plus eight. That is equal to eighteen and one carry over. So we know the value of e also. Now. Come to the column of this column, s plus v plus v that is equal to n. And what about this column? Here also the carry over is either zero, one, or two, right? I plus eight plus eight is equal to one. So eleven is not possible, right? So what is the carry over? The carry over also here two. So What is the value of here i plus eight plus eight that is equal to twenty one, right? I plus eight plus eight that is equal to twenty one. Now, what is the value of uh, carry over from this column to this column? We don't know. 
right now what can we do let us take Two plus v plus sorry two plus s square two plus six plus v plus v that is equal to twenty plus n two plus six plus v plus v is equal to twenty plus n right right because carry over from this column to this column that is equal to two v plus v is equal to how much that is equal to 12 plus n now what is the value of v obviously 5 6 is not possible only 7 if v is equal to 7 7 plus 7 is equal to 12 plus 2 or not so what is the value of v that is equal to 7 now you substitute the value of 7 and what is the sum 2 plus 6 that is equal to 8 and next 8 plus 7 plus 7 that is equal to 22. So, what is the value of n that is equal to 2? Now, you substitute the value of 2 here. Right? So, here we know the values of s, t, w, e, v, t also. Now, what we required? i, x and v. Now, come to the part of x. We don't know uh, the carryover from this column to this column. Right? And next. Come to this part. Here, what is the value of x? Now you will check how many values are there. 0, 1 is already exist, and next to 2 is already exist, and 3 over, and next to 4, and next to uh, 5, uh, 6 not possible, 7 not possible, and next to 9. So only 4 values are there. Now we will check which of these uh, values are satisfied. Suppose x equal to 0, then what happened? 0 plus 2 plus 2 that is equal to 4. Just write down x equal to 0 and what happened? This is equal to 4. So there is no carryover from this column to this column. Let us take that is equal to 0. Or if you want to substitute any values 4, 5, 9, then just you substitute the values and then check whether <coughs> that is valid, satisfy the conditions or not. Right now, carry over is equal to zero. Right, so carry over zero plus i plus eight plus eight that is equal to twenty one or not? Why? Because two carry over here. So what happened? I must be equal to twenty one minus sixteen that is equal to five. So now you will substitute the value of i here. So here we know all the values of s i x e v n T, W, etc. Now, what is the condition? Here, what is the sum of these values? So, T is equal to 1, W, 3, E equal to 8, N equal to 2, T equal to 1, and Y is equal to 4. So, what is the sum? This is 10, 14, 15, and 4. That is equal to 19. So, 6 plus 7 plus 7 is equal to 20. Then, find the value of 20. That is equal to 19. That's all in this video. We will meet again on next video with crypt arithmetic multiplication. Stay tuned to my channel. You will get more updates regularly from my channel. If you are not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. You will get more updates. Thank you, Conan.